By the end of this tutorial series, you'll be able to animate your character to do something like this. Or even this. In this video and the coming ones, you'll go into the process of designing a character in Adobe Illustrator, rigging the character using Duet Basil and Adobe After Effects, and finally, animating the character in Adobe After Effects as well. So without further ado, let's get started with designing a character in Adobe Illustrator. To begin, open Adobe Illustrator, and make sure to start correctly by organizing your layers properly. For this, you need the Layers window, which you can access from the Window drop menu. Starting off our character design with its central body. And to do that, we're gonna use the simple shape of the rounded rectangle tool. Moving on with the next part, while keeping the layers named and organized properly. In this case, the left arm must be in its own layer. In the left arm, add small circles to the joints points, where the arm usually bend. We will use those later when we animate our character. One goes on the shoulder. and the other one on the arm and the forearm joint, here. Although I draw the left arm in the body layer, I must move them to the correct place in their own individual layer. Left arm, done. Moving on to the left forearm, and again, a new individual layer. Copy and paste from the arm. Lower the opacity to align the joints correctly. Make sure it's in its own individual layer, and your left forearm. Done. The last part is the hand. Use a simple circle shape, with a circle tool. Now, we're going to copy the arm and forearm, and use them to draw the thigh, and the calf. Here is the thigh copied from the arm. Thigh goes into separate layer.
and a new layer for the calf. Copy thigh to calf layer. Remember to align the black dots for the joint correctly. Thigh and calf. Done. Now, we're going to draw the feet. Simply use the rounded rectangle tool. Let's add a little turtleneck here for our guy. And let's complete his other half, copying and pasting from the left side parts. Hide the central body to be able to select other body parts. Before duplicating, prepare your right side layers, to make life easy for you, and fill those layers with the correct body parts that you made for the left side. For the sake of color contrast, it's recommended to color the left side parts another shade. Much better. Now, let's repeat for the right arm. Create the layers, and fill them with right side parts. Let's connect the arms to the body, and change their color, to make them pop form the body. You're doing great, just keep going. Before finishing off, we need to separate the hands and feet into their own layers as well. Hands separated into separate layers, done. Now separating the feet.
All parts looks good for now and organized in their proper layers. Finally, the head. It's really up to you to decide your character, but for this tutorial, what's matter, is to have the head all in one layer. Do that, and feel free to shape it whatever you like. In my case, he happens to be this guy who looks absolutely random. Wait to see his face though. I was trying to make him less creepy, by giving him a smile. But yeah, I changed my mind. Finally, check your character parts, and that each one is in its own layer. You can use this guide here to check as well. Well then, that's it for this part of the tutorial, you've been great so far. Next video we'll be covering rigging in After Effects. And what that means basically is, giving our guy here, a skeleton, with which he'll be moving. If you like to have more tutorials on animations, support the channel by pressing the like button. And thanks for watching.